Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. I'd like you to think about this important question. Where does my money go? Such a simple question and yet it holds a lot of weight because it gets at the very heart of personal money management. So especially in this economy, being able to track and analyze your financial habits has become increasingly important. And the great thing is, there's no better way to do that than a very simple application that you can create on Google Spreadsheets. So let me show you an example, and let me show you how this works. We have four columns here. These four are your input columns. And so let's imagine you just graduated from college, you're starting out on your own, and you want to be able to understand where your money goes. We start here January 1st, 2013, and at this point, we create this log, jotting down every time you have an expense greater than $50. This is an arbitrary amount. This is just an example to get a sense of where all your large purchases are going. At that point, once you list the date and the amount, there's a type. And at this point, we use a data validation such that you can click on this little button here and enter what the classification is for that particular purchase. And the last column here, this is an optional column, but it gives you a chance to jot down a few notes. So it jogs your memory as to what the expense or purchase was. So this is great. We have something that's very simple and it lets you track all the big expenses that you've incurred. But this right here doesn't give you a good sense of where your money is going. As such, we need a summary table. So let's take a look here. This is our summary spending breakdown table. So now we can see for year to date 2013 with the period ending in mid-March, so call it three and a half months, this is where all my money went by category. So it gives you a sense by dollar amount and as a percentage of the total. As you can see, you know, your rent makes up a little over half of your total expenditures, but if you were to exclude rent, this would be the breakdown in terms of these categories. All right, so it gives you a, a sense as to where your money is going. Now, the neat thing is you can also look at this on a visual basis. So we will show you two pie charts that you can create. This pie chart uh, includes your rent category, but you can see very visibly that your rent does make up a little over half of your year-to-date spending. And these are all the different categories and their percentages that correspond um, to your spending breakdown. And likewise, we could take a look, excluding rent, this is the amount by category that you have spent in 2013 thus far. Now, again, super easy and yet gives you a flavor as to how you're spending your money. Now, what if you weren't too happy with these categories? In other words, these don't quite reflect your situation. Not a problem. Very easy to change these categories. If you go into the data validation button, this list here is something that you can modify. And once you modify it here, your data validation here updates correspondingly. And we can change the categories in our summary table. And there you have it. So it's very, very flexible tool, and your pie charts will update automatically as well. Okay, so what went into making this application? Well, as we mentioned before, we had the data validation. We also use the sum if and the sum functions, along with the max functions. And finally, formatting, data analysis, and charting were the last three components that helped create this particular application. So again, if you want to ask yourself, where does all your money go? You really don't have to look much further than this particular application and make sure you save your receipts and begin jotting away. All right, we'll see you next time.